All right, so I was playing with uh, neon bulbs and uh, I ran across this schematic. Now I've seen this schematic for, oh, I don't know, 40 years. <laughs> and I always thought, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, but I've never, ever, ever built one, ever. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I've got a neon bulb on my hand. Let me go ahead and give it a try. And I wired it up and it didn't do anything. And I thought, oh, it's supposed to oscillate. It's supposed to flash. And it didn't do anything. And I was all bummed out. Uh, then I noticed that it actually flickers at 600 hertz. It's like, well, what good, what good would that do? Like, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to have something flicker at 600 hertz? It makes no sense to me. And, and here's, here's a different way to do it. This one oscillates at 900 hertz. It's like, well, why do you want to do that? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so what I did was... Uh, uh, I have about five point, hmm, let's see here, one, two. Anyway, I think I've got, I've got around five and a half megs here. Instead of 6.8, I've got about five and a half megs here. But the big difference I made was I put in a bigger capacitor. So I have about a 0.22, a 0.022. So this is a 0 0.001 microfarads, and I have a 0 0.022 microfarad. So, you know, 20, 20 times this one. And so hopefully we'll be uh, 20 times less in, 20 times less in frequency. So, uh. So how does this thing work? Well, uh, this is a very large resistance. So that resistor starts charging up, up this capacitor and that capacitor gets charged up and charged up and charged up. As soon as it uh, gets to be above the threshold of the, uh, of the neon, now the, the threshold of the neon's around 75 to 90 volts, somewhere around in there. And so once it gets up to say 80 volts, then suddenly the, uh, uh, the gas discharge tube will, will short and it'll start conducting a lot of current. And actually, it actually will droop the voltage down below and uh, that capacitor will then hold it down there and then the thing will extinguish. So it'll come on for a brief period of time, but then when it, when it, uh, it's conducting, it, it's, it's voltage, even though it's threshold voltage is say 90 volts, it's, it's, it's going to drop down below that. And then it's going to, it's going to discharge this capacitor and it will extinguish. And then you have to start over again. So it'll be this, this RC constant of this, this resistor and this capacitor. And then once it conducts, it'll fall. Then it has to go up again. Once it falls, it comes up again. So anyway, that's the way it works. Let's take a look at it. See if it actually does something. So first of all, I'm going to use my uh, my LCR tester to give me the high voltage. This is like my only high voltage power supply. So I have it adjusted here to 166, uh, 166 volts. Uh, we can turn it down a bit here, 163 volts. So we have our 160, our 160 volts. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, at the uh, neon bulb. All right, so here it is over here. So there's one, two, three, four, five resistors. Each one is 1.3 mega ohms. And here's my 0.022 uh, microfarad capacitor, 22 nanofarads. And there we go. Uh, we see the uh, see the neon bulb flash. And I can drop the voltage down a bit, and it'll slow down. So here's 129 volts. 117 volts. It's getting pretty slow. Okay, let me uh, let me back up a bit so you can see the uh, you can see the voltage in the camera too. There we go. 118 volts. It's it's flashing pretty slow. Let's see how how low we can go before it stops flashing. We need to be above the threshold of that. Uh, yeah, at 100 volts, it doesn't it doesn't operate. So, so oh, just starting to hear around 105 volts. It's just 110 volts. It's just starting to operate. And then we can ramp up. We can make it go a little bit faster. Here's our 150 volts, and we can go up to uh, there. We go 200 volts. That's flashing right away. So anyway, it does work. I don't know why you need to have a circuit like this. <laughs> it's one of those circuits that you always see and it's like, okay, that's cool, but well, I don't need one. So then you never build it. So now that I'm retired and I got nothing to do except shoot videos for you guys, I thought, okay, let's do it. Let's build one. Uh, I have another, uh, 
another type of neon bulb coming. So as a teaser, uh, I have that coming in the mail. Uh, I've never seen one before and I ordered one, so uh, give it a try, but uh, yeah. Here you go, neon bulb flashing. <laughs>